Good morning, mighty people of God. I am back again to surround you with the sound of heaven. I want to correct your language in love today. You've been defining yourself as a survivor because you have outlived and outlasted the thing that tried to come up and block you. But God says you are not a survivor. You are a remnant. And a remnant is different from a survivor. A remnant is the small group that remains. So like a survivor, a remnant endures and outlasts a traumatic, life-threatening event that came to take it out. But unlike a survivor, a remnant is assigned to produce after a life-threatening event. And unlike a survivor, a remnant is assigned to open up their mouths and testify of the goodness of Jesus, having the evidence that you're able to still produce after the thing came to block you. You are a remnant. And I don't want you to be satisfied with just survival. It's not enough. There is something in your belly. There is something in your spirit. There is something connecting you to God's purpose for your life that you are assigned to push out after the insult, after the injury, after the breakup, after the, the firing, after all of these things. You are assigned to produce because you have my ability and you are counted to God as the remnant. And once you produce a thing, open up your mouth and say, God has done this thing for me. The scripture reference for us today is very familiar passage of scripture is taken from Jeremiah 29, starting at the 11th verse. For I know the thoughts I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope, to give you a future and a hope. And when you call upon me and Go and pray to me. I will listen to you and you will seek me and find me when you search for me with your whole heart. This scripture, this word was actually given to the Israelites right before they went into captivity under the Babylonians. This word was a prophetic sound saying, I'm sending you into a life altering experience because of your disobedience but there is a hope there is a future and you will produce after this thing there is more after this thing it's not just for you about survival i have plans for you i have intentions for you i have a future written for you don't stop writing the story don't stop writing your story at survival. It does not end there. Keep going. You are arriving. You are arriving at the spot where your purpose and your process will make sense. And when you arrive at that place, you better have the mindset, I'm not a survivor. I am a remnant. There is something inside of me that God is pushing out of me in this season season and I will let the Lord work. You are surviving, but there is something in your spirit that God wants to push out. And that thing that God wants to push out will be a testimony unto him that you remain for the purposes of the father. God's not done yet. You can't quit. You can't quit. You in your belly, there is an answer. God created you to be a need for the earth. And if you quit, the word that he spoke over your life 
will not come to pass. You can't quit. God's word will never fail. God's word will never fail. Matthew 24 and 35 says, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will not fail. You cannot quit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the confidence that heaven has over us, over our process, over your plans. And we say, God, we surrender to the work that you are working in our lives. And we know, see, that there is more for us. We were not intended to simply be survival survivors but we were intended to produce after the storm. We were assigned to produce after the wind blew the house down. We were assigned to produce when the enemy attacked our health. We were assigned to produce after the divorce. We were assigned to produce God after it was allowed to be taken away. And we will not sit in a seat where there is no fruit. We will not sit in a seat where we are um, apathetic and lackadaisical concerning the plans that you have for us, oh God. We will press our way into our purpose. So I pray, oh God, even now that, that you would inundate the ears of your sons and daughters, that they may hear your sound and have clarity and understand the thing that you are calling them to do. Stir up the gift, God, and your sons and daughters because now is the time for kingdom carriers to carry the kingdom throughout the earth God help them to carry it God be the light shining in darkness God that they may understand the assignment and stand on the business of God. We thank you for the sound that we are announced in heaven as remnants. So not only will we survive this thing, we will thrive after it. And we have sense enough to know that we will open up our mouths and give you glory. We will open up our mouths and give you worship. We will open up our mouths and give you praise for you have done and are doing great things for us and we honor you and we praise you we count it done in Jesus name amen it is so whether or not you receive the word of God the word of God is still so Either you can accept it or reject it, but if it's the word, you're going to see it. You'll see it again. So I pray that your faith fail you not. I pray that your faith fail you not. You're going to see it. You're going to see it happen. And I thank God that you have and will continue to survive because you are a remnant blessings to you. Have a great day. Hide the word in your heart. Hide the word in your heart that you may not sin against God. In Jesus name. Amen.